Well, the last time the, the Republicans did health care, they did the prescription drug benefit for senior citizens. They didn't pay for it, and it's one of the biggest contributors to the deficit in the history of the country. Uh, they have to understand that when they repeal health care, that senior citizens will pay more for prescription drugs. Young people will lose their health care coverage. And once again, we'll have pre-existing conditions that keep women and children and others from getting uh, access to health care when, uh, when they need it. And they're also going to have the problem that this health care bill signed by President Obama saves $100 billion in the first 10 years and a trillion dollars in the second 10 years. So they're going to have to pay for those changes when they go back to their so-called common sense uh, ideas. The fact of the matter is this health care bill works. I don't think they do because I, I believe that the president would veto those efforts and they don't have the votes to override that veto. Uh, but this is their mantra and it kind of tells you where they want to want to go. This, this health care bill has the possibility of bringing great economic security to America's families because now when they lose their job, they lose their health care. That will never happen again. Now when their kids need health care, the insurance companies take it away. That won't happen again. Now you have people looking out after the middle class instead of giving it all back to the insurance companies that are raising rates 15 and 20 percent even before the health care bill goes into effect. Well, they chose not to participate, Jennifer. They just chose not to participate. Now they want to complain about it. You know, the president spent nine months in the Senate trying to get Republicans to participate and come up with suggestions for the bill. They refused to do that. The House Republicans refused to do that. So they made that choice because they wanted the bill to fail. But the bill passed. And what we know is the more and more Americans find out about the bill, the more and more they like the bill because they see how this helps their family, how this provides them economic security that they don't have today. Well, there's a real threat of this happening. This, the Republicans have said for months that they want to repeal a uh, uh, universal health care bill. They, they've said that they want to do away with it. They want to go back to vouchers for, for, for senior citizens on Medicare. I mean, these, these, are, these are programs that really, really strike at the heart of the middle class, whether they're elderly middle class or whether they're working middle class families. Uh, health care uh, causes almost 50 percent of the bankruptcies in this country. And so that's why this bill was passed, because that's what people need.